Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about the calculation of the friction losses in the centrifugal pump or loss of energies in the friction pipe. Okay, before going to this topic, you will understand. So take the cross section pipe. Now this pipe is water is flowing only off through this. Okay, water is flowing only off up to this level and in this direction. So this is exposed to the this space is exposed to the your air, open air. So in this condition, the pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. And this is called your open channel flow. In this condition, water will flow due to only effect of the gravity, not any external force. Same pipe I am considering. Now, if this pipe is fully flowing, okay, pipe in this uh, pipe water is fully flowing. So, in this condition, the pressure in this pipe is little bit higher than your atmospheric pressure. That is your pipe flow. We call the pipe flow. Here, the flow is takes place due to the difference in pressure. Okay, based on this concept, we can decide that whether this flow is laminar or turbulent that is depends on your Reynolds number okay Reynolds number is ratio of your inertial force by viscous force okay you can see uh, detail in the open channel videos so here this Reynolds number lesser than 2000 in a pipe flow we can call that is a laminar flow okay if it is more than the 4000 we can call turbulent suppose the flow is between 2000 to 4000 so we can call that is your transition zone or intermediate zone okay now this is the pipe section here the pressure uh, one here the pressure two and this enter cross section so what is flowing in this direction so at the edge of the wall at the edge of the wall the higher friction is there okay in this condition the velocity is very low and here also same okay and this friction will create opposite force to on flow okay so this pressure will create in this direction the friction force will act in this direction for a given length in this section 1 and 2. So this type of friction force we can calculate. So that is losses due to friction. Okay, In this pipe we call loss due to friction. So this equation given by the Darcy's wage batch equation or we call that head loss due to friction in pipe are also called your conveyance losses in the pipe because we are conveying or transporting the water from the one section to another section. That is. So in this fluid mechanics, the Darcy wedge batch equation is empirical equation. This is empirical, the relation between given weight loss, pressure loss, or due to friction along your length. Okay. So that is so this equation can be written as in this way that is head chef head loss to friction equal 4 Fc. Okay, 4 F L V square by 2 G D. So here H F is the head loss due to friction in a given pipe. So this is a given pipe and fc fc is the coefficient of friction we can call coefficient of friction or also called your darcy coefficient this is dimensionless unit so this have no units okay l is the length of pipe so where you are taking uh, friction losses so that is your section 1 and 2 that is your l uh, v square so here what is the velocity in this uh, section that is your velocity meter per second and this is your g acceleration due to gravity meter per second square d is the diameter of this pipe diameter so now another form of this darcy waste batch equation is that h of equal f f l v square by 2 g t so what is the difference between these two equations the only effect is 4 okay so we can uh, write this this f f is the friction factor this also be dimensionless unit so now so the relation between your f c and f f so here f c is called your coefficient of friction are Darcy coefficient and F F is a friction factor. So that is the we can say from this both equation we can write the F F that friction factor is four times of your friction coefficient. Or nothing but F C is the F F by four. This is the relation. Don't confuse. Okay, please between. Sometimes if they ask in the examination, uh, F F is the friction factor. Okay, and F C the that is your and this equation you can use for solving the problems okay they may ask in the rs mains so this is the most important next one is your this coefficient of friction factor determined on the basis of the type of flow so this fc okay this fc depends on your type of flow whether as i told you that is whether the flow is laminar or turbulent so let us see this case so let us the coefficient of friction uh, or the friction factor determines on the basis of the type of flows this may be turbulent or laminar so not case one so 
the variation of coefficient of friction fc or friction factor for the turbulent flow so this for the turbulent flow the fc is the function of both uh, reynolds number and relative roughness this is e by d is the ratio of the relative roughness of the pipe so if you touch the you say take this pipe if you touch of this surface inner surface of this pipe it little bit rough so that's called roughness another case is that this pipe is maybe smooth in a pipe the coefficient of friction is function of only reynolds number only reynolds number there is a no uh, relative roughness will play major role so that is a formula so fc is 1 by r power of 1 by 4 that is a constant case 2 for the rough pipes for the turbulent flow in the rough pipe coefficient of friction is function of relative roughness and it is independent on your Reynolds number okay this is the case so this equation proposed by your Blasius equation and for the laminar flow or viscous force we know the Reynolds number is inertial force by viscous force in this condition the laminar flow or viscous flow the coefficient of friction fc is only functional or depends on your Reynolds number okay independent on your e by d that is your relative roughness okay that is mean constant in this condition the fc coefficient of friction is 16 by reynolds number and turbulent flow the fc is constant by reynolds number of 1 by 4 power reynolds number power of 1 by 4 here simply the 16 by reynolds number there is no power okay see this is the relation they will ask in the examination this is the most important they ask in the gate exam in the uh, laminar flow the coefficient of friction is directly proportional uh, to Reynolds number, inversely proportional to Reynolds number or such type of relation they will ask. Okay. So, E is the as I told you, mean, uh, relative mean roughness of the pipe, D is the, the small d, sorry. And above equation is derived from the uh, this equation. Okay. 16 by Re is derived from the hegel poisson So, this much deep we are not going to discuss. Okay. Now, same equation. Okay. The variation of the coefficient in terms of Fc. This Fc is the coefficient of friction. Okay. Now, let us see in terms of friction factor. So, we know that FF, friction factor is 4 times of your FC. Otherwise, FC is the FF by 4. So, now same, if you write this equation, if you multiply with the 16, if you substitute here, so you will get this type of value. Okay, that is 16 by into 4. So, that is 64 by uh, RE. That is the friction factor for the laminar flow or viscous flow. So, FF is the same value. If you multiply with the 4, so this will you get this value. From the above equation, we can draw the relation between the all your velocity diameter and your discharge so these are the most important equation may be asked how the if the velocity changes so what is the loss in the friction or if you increase or reduce the diameter so what is the effect of your head loss to friction so here we can have relation that hf equal to 1 by d power of 5 similar way we can say that head loss due to uh, friction in terms of the discharge that is your discharge square by d power of 5 otherwise we can write discharge square equal to d power of 5 and discharge equal to root of your head loss due to friction so such type of relation they will ask in the examination please go through once and remember all this equation now this uh, as i told you in this session uh, this friction loss is depends on your reynolds number and relative roughness okay so this relation is given by modi okay that's called a modi chart the modi chart is the or modi diagram you can call or stanton diagram okay this is also called stanton diagram it is a graph of a non dimensional form that relate the darcy waste batch form friction factor or that is ff friction factor ff or fd can be written in different ways and reynolds number and surface roughness for your fully developed flow in a circular pipe so that is your e by d relative roughness so this is gives the relation between your friction factor ff or fc and reynolds number and your relative roughness three parameters so this is called your modis chart if you see this modis chart when the pressure uh, when the flow range up to 10 uh, power of 3 that is nothing but 1000 okay up to so in this condition that is at up to 2000 here so this is called your laminar flow region Okay, this is the laminar flow region. In the laminar flow region, the Fc is uh, 64 by Reynolds number. Okay, so this is a friction factor. Friction factor and next one. So this is the zone where the um, flow is changing from the laminar to the turbulent. 
So that is called a transition region. So in this again the flow is increasing, remaining is the more turbulent region, this entire. So now these are the major losses. We can also estimate the minor losses. So that minor losses are due to fittings. Okay, due to small bends. That is called your minor losses. The loss of head uh, or energy due to friction in a pi uh, as a major losses we are discussed now. In a flowing fluid, okay, in the direction. So that is due to the uh, velocity. It called your minor losses. So these losses are due to sudden uh, enlargement or contraction or bends, fittings, okay, or at exit point, at entry point due to sudden enlargement. So that is the area is expanding. Okay, towards the outlet and next one is your sudden contraction so the reverse of this so the, when the area is larger and it is moving uh, okay closer pipe okay smaller diameter pipe okay this is the formula high written here various fittings the strainer will fit and the foot wall will fit in this condition the some friction also loss that is the formula for the f uh, head loss to friction that is k v square by 2g if you are fitting the strainer we can denote with ks so in this condition ks value is 0 0.95 and foot value, if you keeping the foot value that we can denote to KF and that value is 0 0.980. The strainer value is little higher as compared to the foot wall. Loss uh, due to obstruction in the pipe. Okay. So this is the equation. We are not going to derive this all the equation. And at the entrance of the pipe. So this is the formula. Same. This is the formula. Same as your head loss to various fittings. But here values, K values very little bit low. That is 0 0.5. It exists also. Same. Only velocity square by 2G. So and head loss due to bends, okay, like this, U shape bend, T joints or others. So this is the formula. Sir. And head loss due to well, okay, like this walls, okay. If you are picking the control walls, flow walls, this is the formula, okay, 0 0.1 v square by 2g. And loss of power due to this all enlargement. Suppose so here the sudden area is enlarging, sudden area is contracting, and so due to this reason, the loss of power you can calculate it, that is your density gravity discharge into head that is nothing but your power this is nothing but your power horsepower by kilowatts that is the thousand if i divide this thousand they will give the kilowatts if you remember the water horsepower formula that is density gravity discharge into head in the watts if i divide this with thousand then it will kilowatts so that is the loss of power in a pipe due to sudden enlargement in kilowatts so this is a kilowatt